Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? Good evening, teacher. Fine, teacher. Fine. Perfect, 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 oh. perfect. Mm -hmm. That's good. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Perfect. It's nice to see you one more day and to be working with you. How was your weekend, people? What can you tell me? Was it good? Was it bad? How was your weekend? Comments, comments? Let me ask one. Mm -hmm. Relax. Relax. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you so much. What about for you, Jancy? How was your weekend? So so. So so. All right. Thank you. Thank you. What about for you? Let me ask on some people. Marcos Javier, what about for you? How was your weekend? Uh, good. All right. Perfect. Perfect. What about you, Cesar? Relax, teacher. All right, that's really nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And what about for you, Oscar Armando? How was your weekend? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Busy, busy. All right, all right, busy, busy. I understand, thank you, thank you. What about for you, Carlos Heriberto? How was your weekend? It was very, very good, very good. All right. How about you? Uh, it was, you know, a normal weekend, kind of relaxing, you know, relaxing. I didn't do much. I just watched uh, TV. I just stayed home. Uh, I just played video games. So my, I would say it was a good weekend. Mm -hmm. Thank you for asking, by the way. All right, people, uh, welcome, welcome, everybody. It's like really nice to be working, as I mentioned to you, one more day. I will check on attendance so we can get started on today's class. Let me see on this one. Remember, when you listen to your name, please make a verbal confirmation that you are part of this class. Let me see on Alberto Enrique. Present. Thank you. Then Anna Noemi. Present teacher. Perfect. Then Brian Isaac. Present. Perfect. Eh, Carlos Fernando. Present. Thank you so much. Then I have Carlos Heriberto. Present teacher. Great, thank you. Carlos Manuel. Carlos Manuel. I guess not available at this moment. I continue. Then Cesar Alejandro. Present teacher. Thank you, thank you, Mr. Uh, Claudia Lisset. Present teacher. Perfect. Then Christian Gerardo. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Damaris Mabel. Present teacher. Perfect. Then I have Elian Heriberto. Present teacher. All right, thanks. Stephanie Giselle. Present. All right, all right, thank you. Then Fatima Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you, miss. Then Gabriela Eunice. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you, thank you, thank you. Then I have Gerson Antonio. Gerson Gerson. Right, not available yet. Then Ingrid Jamilet. Ingrid Jamilet, right, probably not available. Then Jose Samuel. Present teacher. Right, thank you, thank you. Then I have Marcos Javier. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Maria de los Angeles. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Uh, Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. All right, thank you. Marvin Raimundo. Present teacher. Thank you. Then Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Gustavo Garcia. 
Present. Thank you. Then I have Jancy Sarai. I'm here. All right, right. Then Jamie Rosibel. I am here. Okay, then I have Jennifer Yesenia. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. And that's it. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, people, for your confirmation for today's video conference. I just want to thank uh, the majority of all of you, you know, for working in the platform. And as for today, we start on checking some information for the next section that we have. So please, I encourage you to continue working and to continue developing, developing some content for the learning platform that we have. Thank you so much. As you may see on the screen today, we start on the new section that goes by the name, Did You Have Fun? Right? That is the name of the section we begin. And for today, the emphasis is about the simple past statements and more specifically about regular verbs. That is pretty much what we are going to check on for today. Let's see in this one. Let's go over this one. Check on some information that we have on the screen. Tell me people, what is the first activity we have on the left? Check on this one. What is the first activity that we have? We have? Probably answer email. Thank you. Su correo. Uh -huh. Thank you. That's correct. Answer email. Perfect. What is the next activity? Check on the illustration and check on the information. You can read it. What is the next activity? Clean people? the house. Clean the house. Clean the house. Thank you. Clean the house. Perfect. What is the next activity? Do the laundry. Do the laundry. As you can see in the illustration, you know, the person is using a washing machine to clean, right? To clean the clothes, to wash them, right? That is called do the laundry. What is the next activity? Exercise. Exercise. Perfect. We have exercise. What about on the second line, on the second row? What is the next one? We have Go grocery shopping. Go grocery shopping. Perfect. We have go grocery shopping. Thank you so much. What about on the next one? Visit relatives. Perfect. 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 Visit yeah. relatives. What about on the next one? Wash the car. Wash the car. Thank you. Wash the car. Perfect. And the last one we have. Thank you. We have work or study. In this case, all of these actions make reference about things to do on the weekend. Now, from this one, tell me, there are some activities that we like, right? And some others like, oh my God, I don't like it, right? Let me ask on some people. Let me see on, let me ask on Christian Gerardo. Christian, from these activities, what do you like to do? from these activities? Uh, I clean the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you like uh, it? Yes, I like it. Oh, perfect. All right. Is there any other activity that you like? An exercise. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Let me ask on more people. Thank you so much for your participation. What about for you? Let me see, Carlos Fernando. Tell me, from these uh, activities, which ones do you like? Exercise. Mm -hmm. uh, answer e email. Mm -hmm. uh, in clean the house. All right. Perfect. Perfect. What about for you, Maria de Los Angeles? Go, go grocery shopping. All right. Go grocery shopping. Mm -hmm. Any other? Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's nice. And let me ask on one more person about this. What about for you, Harrison? Harrison Antonio, from these uh, activities that we have, which one do you like to do? I like uh, to dive. Mm -hmm. 
I like studying. Mm -hmm. I like sleep. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I like cooking. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you for your participation. Now let's go for the opposite. Activities that you don't like. You can mention the ones on the, on the pictures or you can include any other activity that you don't like. Let me begin on that one. Let me see in this one. What about for you, Jamie Rosibel? What activities you don't like to do? I, uh, I, I don't like to. Ah, perdón. <laughs> I don't like to <laughs> clean my house. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. The cooking. Uh huh. Carrots, my pets, my cat, my cat, mm -hmm. and the sleep, sleep. All right, all right. Thank you, thank you. What about for the rest of the people? Tell me, Cla No, 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 no. Carlos, Eliberto, tell me what activities you don't like to do. I don't like to do the laundry. Mm -hmm. And I don't like uh, clean the house. All right, perfect, perfect, all right. I agree with you. Let me ask on more people in this one. Let me see. What about for you, Alberto Enrique? What activities uh, you don't like to do? The, the clean the house. Mm -hmm. Este, do the laundry. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Thank you so much. Now, let's change on this one to the point of view that some things that we did. We have some ideas, for example, what you like to do, what you don't like to do. And this one, let's, let's express ideas about what you did. Ya expresamos ideas de lo que nos gusta, algunos, ¿verdad? Lo que no nos gusta hacer. Pero también ahora, pues, vamos a chequear en este caso eh, las acciones de las que vemos en pantalla, cuáles logramos nosotros, nosotros realizar en este fin de semana. For example, for me, uh, the activities that I did, uh, for example, clean the house, that's what I did. Uh, exercise, for that one. And also go grocery shopping, right? Those are the activities that I did for today. What about for you, Elian Heriberto? What did you do on the weekend from these activities? De las que vemos en pantalla, ¿cuáles habrá eh, realizado usted? I was clean the house. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Exercise. Mm -hmm. Study. Uh -huh. And do the laundry. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Perfect, perfect. What about for you? Let me see, Gustavo. From these activities, what activities did you do? Uh, I went the house. Mm -hmm. uh, e in the her, 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 exercise the uh -huh. exercise uh -huh. exercise all right exercise. all right all right thank you thank you so much perfect and Anna Noemi what about for you what activities did you do on the weekend uh, I did activities um, like to the laundry because in my family so many people <laughs> all and, right um go grocery shopping with my mm -hmm. mom All right. on, on Saturdays and, and visit relatives uh, yesterday Sunday. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. And I appreciate that. That's correct. Now, this was just part of some vocabulary, you know, some activities that we can do over the weekend, as I mentioned. And for today, as you know, we have the emphasis of talking about the simple past. And that is how to express actions that you did. And for this one, let me go over some explanation about the simple past. But before that one, 
tell me, what do you know about the simple past? Or what did you check on the platform? Que antes de comenzar a retomar ciertos temas del, presente, del pasado simple, ¿qué han visto ustedes en la plataforma o qué conocen? Cosas que no odian hacer, niños. Mm -hmm. All right. Como eh, pararse en, en un banco atrás, eh, le llaman stand ¿no? mm -hmm. eh, mm -hmm. Como se llama. Eh, travel. Okay, perfect. Uh -huh. That is one activity. That's correct. And, and go to meeting. All right, perfect. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. More volunteers, people. What do you know about the simple password? How do we form it? ¿Qué han eh, visto ustedes en la plataforma? ¿Cuáles son los elementos necesarios para eh, armar una oración hablando en el pasado simple? Comments, comments. En el caso de los auxiliares, teacher, uh -huh. este, uh -huh. eh, se, se, se cambia el tiempo verbal, por ejemplo, en el verbo to be cambia was, were, uh -huh. y este, en el verbo do uh -huh. cambia a did, okay. eh, y, si es un verbo, y si es un verbo que no lleva auxiliar y que es regular o irregular, sufre su, sufre su transformación a pasado. Ok, perfect, perfect, thank you, thank you, that's a good comment. Any other person that can participate? Es que es casi lo mismo que dijo el compañero, <laughs> porque oh. sí, ya también terminé la plataforma y sí, lo, eh, la, la forma en cual eh, formular uh -huh. preguntas o respuestas eh, con verbos irregulares cambia bastante en su gramática y en su escritura también con los verbos, ¿verdad? O agregándole la fórmula eh, de, por ejemplo, story de, sería stood, eh, I had started. Right. Se van cambiando, depende si es el verbo regular o si es un verbo que es normal. Irregular. ¿verdad? Irregular. <coughs> inclusive, Perfect. teacher, inclusive también este se pudo notar cómo el verbo, este, el verbo infinitivo, este, si utiliza el auxiliar did en pregunta o en negativo, uh -huh. el verbo vuelve a su estado normal, igual con was, were. También uh -huh. vuelve a su estado normal el verbo este, de pasado, vuelve a presente infinitivo, presente simple. All right. All right. Thank you, thank you. That's correct. That's correct. Thank you so much. That, those are good comments in this case. As in the simple present, you know, we have to use an, an auxiliary when we create questions and even when we uh, create negative sentences. Sorry, sorry, my microphone was mute, right? Está en silencio mi micrófono, ¿verdad? No, teacher, si se le escucha. Se le escucha a otro compañero que está con Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, as coming back to this one, uh, as I mentioned, right, in simple, in simple uh, past, we use auxiliaries as well, all right? And in the simple present, we have auxiliary do for questions or for negative sentences or don't for negative sentences. In the simple present, something similar happens in this one. Let me show it to you. The general elements when we talk about the simple past in this case is subject plus verb plus complement. That is like in general, in all the sentences, not only for the simple past. Vea que siempre que vamos a expresar una idea completa en el pasado simple o en cualquier tiempo verbal, los tres elementos que son necesarios siempre va a ser un sujeto, un verbo y un complemento. ¿verdad? Eso es para dar una idea completa, completa. Y en este caso, Vamos a ver los elementos en es que vamos a utilizar. Check on this one. We have some examples. Tenemos por aquí unos ejemplos de algunos verbos. Right? Let's listen in this one. Right? Listen and repeat after me. Veamos acá los verbos que tenemos. Yo se los leo y se repite después de mí. Study. 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 Thank you. Watch. 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 Mm -hmm. Stay. 
Shop. Shop. Exercise. Exercise. Perfect, perfect, perfect. In this case, you know, these are base form. Vea que ahí los verbos están en su forma base, sin, sin conjugarlos ni agregarles nada. Okay? Nada, nada, nada. Checking this one. For the negative, negative sentences, in this case, we are going to use an auxiliary. Uh, if you pay attention to your classmates, what auxiliary do we use for the simple past? Negative sentences. ¿Se ¿Sí escucharon a sus compañeros? Oh, perfecto, thank you. Thank you so much. In this case, we are going to use didn't for the negative, as in this case, right? We can use the complete uh, form, let's say, did not, or you can have the contraction, didn't. Vea que acá tenemos ya sea su forma completa del auxiliar did not, o puede ser en su forma contractada didn't. Esto es bastante similar en, en el punto de los elementos necesarios y el orden que llevan los elementos. Si usted recuerda el presente, el presente, eh, lo mismo vamos a decir. Imagínense en el presente decimos I don't ¿verdad? o I do not. Aquí es similar, solo que el auxiliar cambió. El did representa el pasado. El do es para el presente. Pero ve acá. And I guess Brian mentioned this one. Veo que, eh, creo que Brian nos mencionaba que cuando utilizamos el auxiliar, así como vemos acá en pantalla, did o didn't, el verbo vuelve a su forma base. Quiere decir que el verbo no va a sufrir ningún cambio. Así como lo tenemos en su forma base, así se va a quedar. ¿Ok? Didn't study, didn't watch, didn't stay, didn't shop, didn't exercise. Let's go for a practice at this moment. Think about something you didn't do over the weekend. Piensa en algo que usted no hizo durante el fin de semana. Vamos a utilizar I didn't y después un verbo en su forma base, ¿verdad? Sin agregarle nada, porque así representamos el pasado en el negativo. I go for three examples. Le voy a dar tres ejemplos para mí. I didn't clean the house. I didn't play basketball. I didn't visit my family, right? That is something that I didn't do. Eso yo no lo realicé. Let's go for examples at this moment. Let me ask on some people. Damaris Mabel, tell me one thing. Solo una, coménteme, Damaris. Algo que usted no hizo. Something you didn't do. I, I didn't visit a family. All right, didn't visit a family, thank you. Marvin, what about you? Um, I didn't exercise. All right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you. Uh, what about for Jose Samuel? Tell me, what didn't you do? I didn't, I didn't play soccer. I didn't play soccer, all right, excellent. Let me ask on some more people to participate. What about for you, Ingrid Jamilet? Something that you didn't do. I didn't work. This I did weekend. It. Okay, perfect. Didn't work. Thank you. Fatima Elizabeth, what about you? Um, I didn't go to the shopping. All right. Didn't go shopping. All right. Thank you. Let me ask on Maria Magdalena. What about you? Something you didn't do? I didn't uh, watch TV. I didn't watch TV. Perfect. Stephanie Garcia, what about you? I didn't study. Mm -hmm. All right, didn't study. All right, perfect. And Gabriela Eunice. I didn't play Call of Duty. Oh, interesting. That's nice. But do you regular play? Uh, yeah, regular play. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. That's fine. And in this case, as you as you listen to your classmates, they express ideas in some things they didn't do. That is how the simple past in the negative form works. Vea que ahí todos sus compañeros nos dieron ejemplos de algo que no realizar. Recuérdese que el pasado hablamos de algo que eh, obviamente, como la palabra lo dice, ya ocurrió la, eh, tiempo atrás. Puede ser hace un mes, puede ser hace dos años, eh, eh, puede ser ayer, ahora en la mañana, pero porque eso ya ocurrió. ¿eh? 
Entonces, estamos dando ejemplos de algo negativo. Something relevant in this one is that uh, the same auxiliary is used for all the people. I didn't study, she didn't study, we didn't study, they didn't study. The same auxiliary in the same form. Vea que acá, en este caso, con el pasado, no es, no es tan complicado, si le llamamos de esa forma, porque el mismo auxiliar se utiliza para todas las personas. Si usted recuerda en el presente, para ciertos sujetos utilizábamos do o don't, y para otros utilizábamos don and dos en terceras personas, si usted recuerda de eso, ¿verdad? Pero acá, en este caso, para el pasado simple, Didn't es para todas las personas. Así que aquí no hay problema con sujetos. Vamos a seguir la misma información. But that is for the negative. Let's say some of the easiest part. Let's go at this moment for the simple past. But in this case, let's go for, a, for affirmative. Nos vamos en este caso. Eh, en este caso, en las afirmativas igualmente para el pasado simple. Let's see. In this one, as somebody mentioned, there are some changes. Recuerdo que alguien mencionaba que acá tenemos eh, ciertos cambios que vamos a utilizar y que representan el pasado. Check on this one. Study turns to this one. Studied. Vea cómo el, el final cambia. El final que se les agrega, en este caso los verbos, solo ocurre en los verbos, que, en todos los verbos, pero en su forma afirmativa. Vea que en los negativos siempre vamos a tener el auxiliar y la presencia del auxiliar nos elimina el cambio al verbo. Por eso todo está en su forma base. Didn't study, pero en el afirmativo, ahí sí ya eh, demostramos el pasado agregando ciertas partes, partes finales al verbo. Check on the next one, it changes to. Ve ahí el agregado que tiene para representar el pasado. ¿Okay? De lo que ya tenemos de la forma base, se agrega algo más. De check on the next one, the same. We have ED. Then we have the next one, shopped. Right? We have double T. And on the last one, we have exercise. Check on that one. Take a look at this one. And what can you tell me about regular verbs? Vea que los verbos que yo tengo en esta lista todos son regulares. ¿Qué nota usted de particular en los cambios al final de los verbos? Check on that. Y en su mayoría se le agrega ED, dependiendo uh -huh. con qué letra finalice la palabra. All right, all right. Y dependiendo con qué letra finaliza también eh, algunas, eh, se elimina alguna letra. Y en algo otro se agrega una letra. Ok, perfect, perfect. That's all right, that's all right. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. That's correct. And you are fine on that one. Depending on the last letter, sometimes the spelling may change. And also other element is based on pronunciation as well, right? Vemos por ahí que la mayoría, si ustedes pueden ver, terminan en ED cuando le agregamos eh, la partícula del pasado. Y esa es parte de los verbos regulares y a eso se refiere. Se le llama regulares porque la mayoría o todos en estos grupos van a finalizar en ED. Pueden tener ciertas variaciones, pero terminan en ED. ¿okay? Todos van a terminar en esa parte. Por eso se llaman verbos regulares. En la siguiente sesión o en esta semana vamos a ver igualmente los verbos irregulares y ahí pues vamos a ver los cambios que ocurren a ese grupo de verbos. But something easy to see, right, is the verse in ED in this part, right? Spelling. Ve que su forma escrita tal vez es relativamente fácil porque sabemos que le vamos a agregar ED en el caso de escritura. Pero en pronunciación hay un punto muy importante que debemos eh, remarcar y, y tal vez dedicarle tiempo para expresar nuestras ideas de una forma correcta. I will read on the list. Le voy a leer la lista que tengo ahí en, en pantalla de los verbos y usted escuche las diferentes terminaciones. I will mute on everybody. Voy a poner en silencio sus micrófonos por un segundito para que tal vez me puedan escuchar eh, mejor. Listen to this one. Studied. Studied. Watched. Watched. Stayed. Stayed. Shopped. Shopped. Exercised. 
exercised. Now, listen and repeat after me. Ahora escúcheme y repita después de mí, por favor. Let's begin. Studied. All right. Next one. Watched. 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 That's correct. Thank you. Watched. Thank you. Next one. Stayed. Next one, shopped. Shop. Thank you. And the next one, exercised. Exercise. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, what do you see different in this verse? Let's go over the next uh, slide. Déjeme aquí moverme a la siguiente diapositiva. All right. We have the verse. Vea que aquí tenemos los mismos verbos que hace rato eh, practicamos. But there is some classification. No sé si pudieron notar ustedes cuando estábamos practicando que los verbos tienen cierta terminación. Hablando de pronunciación. In spelling, remember the same parts. Vea que en pronunciación, en escritura más bien dicho, todos van a terminar en ed. ¿verdad? Esa es la forma escrita y la forma fácil, digamos. Pero en pronunciación vamos a hablar de tres grupos de pronunciación. The first one. Finishing in t, t. That is the first one. Acá, en este caso, cuando vemos las dos líneas así como diagonales, eh, están representando un sonido, ¿verdad? No tanto una letra escrita, sino que es el sonido con el cual pues vamos a, a pronunciar la parte final de las palabras. La primera sería t, t. The second one, d, d. Sonido de, no literalmente leer una d, sino que d, el sonido. And the last one, if, if, in pronunciation. Now, I need your help on that one. Check on the first one. Vamos con la primera. Ayúdenme a clasificarla. ¿Será que va en, en el primer grupo? ¿Será que digo studied? Digo studied or studied. How do you say? It? ¿En qué grupo creen que va? ¿Será en el tercero, teacher? En el tercero. Idem. en el primero. Mm -hmm. Listen to this one. I will read. Se los leo una vez. Stadid. No, sería en el tercero. Stadid. Mm -hmm. Sería en el tercero. All right, all right. Thank, thank you, thank you. That's correct. This goes for the third group. Vamos al tercer grupo, en este caso. Stadid. Did. Vea que la parte final va con did. Listen to the next one. Vamos con el siguiente. Escúchelo y lo vamos a clasificar. Watched. Watched. En el primero. En el primero. Thank you, thank you. It goes in the first group. That's correct, correct, correct. Thank you, thank you. What about on the next one? We have stayed. Stayed. En el segundo. En el tercero. Segundo. Segundo. All right, all right. It goes in this part. Stayed, stayed, right? D, D, D sound. Vea que va en sonido D. Next one, shocked. Shocked. En el primero. Primero. First, first, first right? One. Thank you. The first one. Thank you so much. Oh. And the last, and the last oh. one, exercised. Exercised. En el segundo. En el segundo. Check on this one. Exercised. That's correct. It goes in the second in the second uh, group of pronunciation. Now, I will share with you some uh, ideas on how to identify on this one, but notice something. It goes based on pronunciation, all right? Vea que acá lo que les voy a compartir es todo basado en sonidos. Aquí no le vamos a prestar atención a cómo finaliza el verbo en su forma escrita, porque las letras, recuerde que el inglés tiene la particularidad que se escribe de cierta forma, pero se pronuncia de otra. 
¿ok? Así que aquí el, el, la escritura tal cual de la palabra no es tanto una referencia, sino va a ser el sonido que estas palabras tienen. Check on this one. Les voy a compartir. Any verb that ends in this sound, right? Vea que todos los verbos que finalizan en estos sonidos, ¿verdad? ya se los voy a, a, a demostrar por acá, van a llevar pronunciación T. Porque a veces la gente me dice, teacher, y pues, ¿y cómo se dio la pronunciación? Pues, si hay tres grupos, ¿y cómo saber a qué le damos? En este caso, vamos a ver los verbos que finalizan en... Or... Esos sonidos van a llevar pronunciación T. Si ve por acá el, el verbo watch, ch, termina en este, que, el, el ch, ch, que tenemos acá. Shop finaliza en, verbo, eh, en P. Shop. P, p, p. Entonces, en ese caso, le vamos a agregar un sonido T al final. Esto es, recuerde, siempre en base a sonidos. Sonidos, no las letras finales del verbo. En algunos casos puede hacer que se dé la coincidencia, como el verbo shop, que finaliza en escritura P y el sonido es P, igual, ¿verdad? Pero en algunos casos no va a ser tan literal. For the next group, el siguiente grupo. Any verb that ends with a vowel sound or the sounds. Cuando los verbos finalizan en cualquier sonido de vocal o finalizan en estos sonidos que tenemos acá, la L, M, N, J, R, G, B, V, W, Z. Esos sonidos finales incluyen una D al final con su pronunciación. Escucha aquí. Stay. Ey, tenemos como un sonido de vocal. Ey, entonces en ese caso nos dice que vamos a agregar sonido de stayed, stayed. Check on the next one. Exercise. Z. Tiene sonido Z al final el verbo. Exercise. Entonces después de ese sonido sabemos que le vamos a agregar un sonido de exercised. And the last one, going over the one for study. All right, let me check on this one. That I misplaced this one. Just give me a second. Déjeme un minutico por acá. Porque no reubiqué este último comentario. Just give me a second. All right, that's better. Go for this one. All right, there it goes. There it goes. Any verb that ends with a t, d sound. Todos los verbos que finalicen en sonido t. O, d, o sonido de, a estos le vamos a agregar id, right? Study, d, d, termina en sonido de, study, studied, right? Por ejemplo, visit, tiene el sonido t, visited. Esto es siempre por cuestión a pronunciación, ¿verdad? Es más fácil pronunciarlo de esta forma y por eso es que también se han agregado o se han agrupado, más bien dicho, los verbos para su pronunciación. That is just uh, some information for you, and I encourage you to practice on this one, ¿ok? Trate de ver la información, y recuerden que tenemos ahí el, el recurso de la grabación de la videollamada, o sea, si toma una foto o una captura de pantalla, chivo. Pero ahí nos queda la información para que usted luego practique, que ese es el objetivo, para que practiquemos y nosotros tengamos por el momento una idea de cómo eh, pronunciar los verbos regulares. Let's go over a practice. Vamos a ir a una práctica luego de esto. In this case, we are going to practice this one with our classmates. What did you do last weekend? Vamos a practicar con los compañeros y vamos a preguntarles, what did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hizo usted? El fin de semana. Yo tengo algunos verbos acá de ejemplo, ¿verdad? Para que nosotros tal vez los pongamos en práctica. Si usted gusta incluir otros, no problem. Listen and repeat after me. Recuérdese que estos verbos solo es en el afirmativo. En el negativo, por la presencia del auxiliar, didn't, el verbo se le elimina todo cambio y queda en su forma base. Aquí, así que estos son solo los afirmativos. Listen and repeat after me. Vamos a leer por acá y vamos a ir practicando. Let's begin. Worked. Work. 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 Work.
Next one. Shopped. Next one. Watched. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Let's go for the other. Uh, with the pronunciation D, right? Vamos con pronunciación D. Listen to this and repeat after me. Listened. Listen. 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 Cleaned. Cleaned. Thank you. Thank you. The Clean. next one, Clean. right? Thank you. Thank you. Let's go for E, the pronunciation. Waited. 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 Thank you. Waited. Thank you. Visited. Thank you. And finally. Thank you, thank you. And finally, invited. 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 All right, perfect, invited. perfect. Thank you, thank invited. you. Thank you so much. Perfect, perfect. Any questions so far? Questions, questions? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. At this moment, people, we are going to have some practice. What's the idea that you can interact with your classmates and you can report ideas about your last week and you can talk about your experiences over the past weekend. The question, what did you do last weekend? La pregunta que vamos a utilizar va a ser, what did you do last weekend? ¿Qué hiciste el fin de semana pasado? Y ahí vamos a nosotros a reportar la información. Usted utiliza los verbos en pasado, los que tenemos acá, o algún otro que usted conozca. No problem on that. Se puede utilizar el que usted guste, no hay ningún problema, y ahí pues vamos a poder practicar y reportar. At the end, let's, we, let's have some time just to socialize about some activities our classmate did during, uh, during the week, right? Cuando regresemos a la sala, vamos a poder tener un poco la chance de practicar ¿verdad? y poder reportar qué hicieron nuestros compañeros en el fin de semana. Ready for practice, everybody? Yes. 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 Thank yes, you. Teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Let's begin at this moment and I will share with you and I will be checking on you how you do. And if you want to incorporate activities in negative form, no problem. Si usted gusta también incluir actividades que no realizó, puede hacerlo también, but I didn't. Y recuerdes en su forma base cuando reportamos la información. Let's begin and let's do a nice job as always, people. Thank you so much. <laughs>
Ah, bueno. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. How are hello, you doing? Teacher. I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> perfect, perfect. What have you shared with your classmates? Cuéntenme, ¿qué han compartido con sus compañeras? Lo que hemos hecho y lo que no hicimos. All right. Claudia, what can you tell me about your classmates? ¿Qué me puede contar de sus compañeros, Claudia? ¿Qué han hecho o qué no han hecho ellos? Um, no han estudiado. But in bueno. English, how do you say that? Ah. Did not study. Uh -huh. Did they? Si, si es para los dos, podemos ah, decir el pronombre they, ¿verdad? Ellos. They, they didn't study. They didn't study. Mm -hmm. um, All right. Uh, they did exercise. All right. They did exercise. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. And eh, watch TV. And watch TV. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Harrison, what about Claudia? What did Claudia do? Um, Claudia. Eh, <laughs> Claudia studied. <laughs> studied? Uh -huh. eh, work. Eh, cook. <laughs> Oh, excellent. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. And Marvin, what can you tell us? Um, 
Hers, eh, Herson Living Shop, uh -huh. Study uh -huh. and Work. All right. Claudia Didn't Study en en cook cook en cook all right all right thank you thank you perfect thank you so much well done people we have two more minutes to practice and then we return to the main room to share some information all right les felicito lo estamos haciendo muy bien nada más chequeo otro grupo más tenemos un, 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 dos minutos para poder participar y tal vez reportar incluso si ya eh, agotaron las ideas del weekend pueden hablar de la última navidad también verdad El tiempo, la referencia puede puede cambiarle y así seguimos con información right perfect perfect thank you so much i will check on other group Cheque otro grupo y luego pues regresamos a la sala principal. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Thank you teacher. Perfect. La vendió ella. La vendió. Démosle. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ah, hola teacher. Hello, hello. Hi teacher. How are you doing? Here we are good. Very well. <laughs> Perfect. What, what can you tell me about the weekend? Uh, Marco. Marco. Le uh, toca a usted, Marco. Right. Perfect. Um, <laughs> a preguntar, ¿verdad? Sí. Vaya. Sí. A preguntar a Carlos. Carlos, what <laughs> did you do last weekend? I didn't work on Saturday and mm -hmm. I listened music on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ahora, Gabriela. Uh, what did you do, do last weekend? I'm listening music in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. All right, listen to music. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, perfect, perfect. That's very really nice, people. Good job on this one. I congratulate you on your practice. Thank you so much. At this moment, we return to the main room and we have the final practice. And thank you so much, people. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Here. Hello, teacher. Um, I see some people coming back. Hello, hello. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Perfect, perfect, perfect. It's good to see you back. How did you go in the practice, people? Hello, hello. Tell me, how did it go in the practice? ¿Cómo nos fue la práctica? Bien. Good teacher. Perfect, perfect. What can you tell me about your classmates weekend? ¿Qué me cuentan de los fines de semana de sus compañeros? Um, my classmate, mm -hmm. he studied and mm -hmm. he cooked the no. dinner. Mm -hmm. And my other classmate, mm -hmm. uh, he studied and he worked. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, thank you. Other people to participate who can share more ideas. In my group teacher, uh, Christian, he didn't listen to music in your mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. And Maria, he didn't laundry the clothes. Mm -hmm. 
All right. But, she didn't but, do the laundry. Mm -hmm. Yes, but she she studied in your home. And Christian, he mm -hmm. he worked. Mm -hmm. to Works. The, uh -huh, yes. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thank you so much. Just check on that one. The person when you mentioned that the person uh, did an activity and you mentioned in your home. Just remember to use the correct possessive adjective in her home or in his home, right? Chequeé okay. por ahí el cambio de los adjetivos posesivos, porque ahí sí es bien importante para reportar ya la información. Pero si me dice in your home, como que esa persona hizo algo en mi casa, como ella, ella, ella hizo tal cosa en tu casa y no fue en okay. la casa de ella. Ajá. So okay. double check on that one. Perfect, perfect, okay. perfect. Tell me, tell me. I have a question. Para, para devolver la, la pregunta, está, what about you? Uh -huh. Y he oído, how about you, pero how about you es como cuando se pregunta, how are you doing, ¿verdad? Por la misma estructura de la pregunta. Correcto. ¿verdad? Podemos seguir la misma okay. línea de, de la WH question. How about you, exacto. El what about you, cuando, cuando eh, obtenemos otro tipo de información, pero es correcto, ¿verdad? Y para no repetir otra vez la misma pregunta en you, what did you do last weekend? Es una forma como resumida de decir, como decir y vos, en español, ¿verdad? ¿qué hace? Y vos, eh, contame, ¿verdad? Y ahí es posible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Perfect. Una pregunta. Go ahead. Jamie, Jamie was cleaning the house and laundry. Okay. All right. Clean the house and did the laundry. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Teacher, una pregunta. El verbo ir en pasado simple, ese sí no lleva construcción de ED, ¿verdad? Porque sería went. Ese exacto. Es regular, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto. Esos son parte de otro grupo que ya vamos a socializar. Eh, creo que mañana o pasado mañana vamos a ver ya la información. Y nos topamos porque queremos decir yo fui, pero no sabíamos. Ah, exacto. Ahí sería en este caso el verbo went. I went. Es correcto. Uh -huh. Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, people. Let's check over attendance and then we are dismissed for today's session. Let me get started. Alberto Enrique. Present. Thank you. Ana Noemi. Present, teacher. Thank you. Brian Isaac. Present. Carlos Fernando, thank you. Present. Perfect. Carlos Heriberto. Present, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Carlos Manuel. Carlos Manuel, probably not available. Cesar Alejandro. Present teacher. Perfect, perfect. Then I have Claudia Lisset. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Christian Gerardo. Present teacher. All right. Then Damaris Mabel. Present teacher. Thank you. Eliane Heriberto. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Stephanie Giselle. Present. All right, thank you. Fatima Elizabeth. Present teacher. All right, all right. Gabriela Eunice. Present teacher. Nice one, thank you. Gerson Antonio. I'm here. Excellent, thank you. Ingrid Jamilet. Present. All right, all right, thank you. Jose Samuel. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you. Marcos Javier. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Maria de los Angeles. Present teacher. All right, all right, all right. Then I have Maria Magdalena. Present teacher. Mm -hmm. Present right. teacher. Thank you, thank you. Marvin Raimundo. Present teacher. All right, Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Nice, nice. Gustavo García. Present. All right, thank you. Uh, Jan Cisarey. I'm here. All right, thank you. Then I have Jamie Rosibel. Present teacher. All right, thank you. And then Jennifer Yesenia. Jennifer. All right, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, people, for the time in the practice. I appreciate the effort that you do every day. And just remember to continue working in the platform to get more ideas about the simple past. Muchas gracias a todos por su esfuerzo y les animo a siempre seguir trabajando en la plataforma. Ahí tenemos nuestro respaldo de información 
para que usted igualmente vaya aprendiendo y como tarea así general, ¿verdad? Es parte de nuestro aprendizaje. Trate de revisar verbos, ¿verdad? Si usted puede descargar una su lista de verbos, excelente, démosle, ¿verdad? Eso le va a ayudar mucho, al igual cuando aprendimos el presente simple, ¿verdad? Que hay una infinidad de acciones que reportar, igualmente ahora pues las podemos reportar en el pasado y ahí sí depende de qué tanto esfuerzo nosotros le pongamos para incrementar nuestro vocabulario. Así que les invito a que si pueden bajar más material, revisar más información, démosle. Eso siempre va a ser de beneficio para ustedes. All right, people, it was nice working with you. I hope you have a good night, a perfect day tomorrow, and see you next class. All right? So, have a good night, people. See you, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.